Has anybody yeah. ever done this before? No, no this is a... I've thought about it before. <laughs> we all talked about doing it last year. Today, me and these guys are doing the Krispy Kreme Challenge. Uh, the Krispy Kreme Challenge started in 2004. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, 2004 uh, at NC State. Um, the Krispy Kreme Challenge has been notated as one of the top 200 runs, races to do before you die. It's all virtual this year, and so uh, Junior, threw this out there and so what we're doing is we're running uh 2.5 miles to a Krispy Kreme ordering a dozen and then running back my goal is to make it without puking that's a good goal <laughs> I have eaten a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts in one sitting before but it's been many many years ago that's and impressive. I did not run anywhere close to before or after you walked into the, the Krispy Kreme <laughs> I was, I was a few pounds heavier at the time, but it was... Yeah, he's dessert. the only one with experience. Everyone else is... It was dessert after a buffet. We all can agree just you have to eat the dozen unless you puke and then your participation trophy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's go. This way. mind watched uh, my video where I talked about Everesting. Uh, I want to Everest on a bicycle. So I want to climb the elevation distance of Mount Everest on a bicycle at one time. And uh, me and a friend are going to do it. He was like, man, have you really thought about this? <laughs> so that's 11 Curtis Creeks. Yeah. Well, really, you don't want to do it on Curtis because it's too long. Yeah, you, I mean. You want to pick something that has like a 10% grade. But yeah, the key is you don't want to like be climbing for 10 miles. No, like, right. Not know, when you got a, feet. right. Not when you got a 10 mile back down. The first two miles. Yeah. No. If you lapped it like 16 it's like, times. Because I've had people return the car and I'm like, Everest. Two mile effort is much better than yeah, like. You remember those first two miles? Oh, I do. Not listen. Oh, I, those were rough. Two miles. I'm not saying that it would be easy by any means. So one mile in, at this moment, kind of try to update you each mile. And go. in how you feeling good good yeah cold. i gotta get my clothes on turn it right here sorry left here sorry my bad good job, Jay boys how are we feeling feeling good yeah good. going through uptown coming into south end about yeah. to hit the light rail feeling hungry feeling hungry <laughs> oh. ready for that <laughs> so one of the cool things about the Krispy Kreme challenge is it started at nc state and uh, a few guys did it. The fastest time currently set is 34 minutes and I think 29 seconds. So that's running five miles, pounding a dozen donuts and running back. And actually that was set the inaugural year, which is crazy. Uh, so, oh, I don't think any of our times, I know mine will not be anything close to that.
Uh, two miles in, currently at this moment, uh, it's at 18 minutes and 34 seconds, 18.40. We're hoping, crossing our fingers for the hot now sign to be on, make it a lot easier. You might have a calorie count on a dozen. Oh! <laughs> I asked how many calories was a dozen donuts, and Chad informed me. 2,300. 2,300. Thanks my wife. Thanks, Jess. Very close to the Krispy Kreme. It's right up around this corner. Status update. Gonky. Yeah. Status update. Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> Status update. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Good vibes. Always. Always. Good vibes running through. Heck yeah. We gotta get that hot now sign on, boys. Well. There it is. Okay, well, unfortunately, the hot and now sign is not on. We got here at like 22. I think we've been here six minutes. And uh, that means we just got to eat these. What's your thoughts? Positively optimistic that these donuts are going to be okay, but I am not looking forward to eating them. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree 100%. Here we go, boys. Okay, so quick update. I've got two uh, stacks left. Now, that doesn't mean that there's only two donuts left. That is uh, six donuts. I might already be heat feeling my heart. Chad is in the lead. I know you're on your last four stack, but he only has three left. That's not something to be proud of. I don't know. <laughs> He's like really focusing. I may not win the foot race, but I'm gonna down all these donuts. <laughs> ah! Look! Done! Yeah! <laughs> oh man! One dozen. <laughs> okay, so it's 42 minutes. That was with purchasing donuts and everything. Six donuts, perfect amount. <laughs> I'm kind of just tempted to like four. Like, hey, seriously, <laughs> McDonald's is now gonna push the pace. He's got, he's carrying six donuts, and now he's gonna go sub seven on us. Okay, status update. You're gonna call me an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, status update, dude. You did it. Uh. <clears throat> that was one. Krispy Kreme donuts are gross. Not gonna deny. Not gonna. Uh, I don't think this is a donut. No, I don't no. either. I think my definition of donut has changed. Yeah. I cannot taste anything else just right a now. Circle of sugar. Just a glaze of. Ugh. But I those? did complete something. Who didn't think they would be able to run after a dozen donuts? Look at that. No, I've got like two more bites. Oh, you got. Ah. I don't want those bites. No, dude. I don't want them. It's like, it's like a full donut, basically. <laughs> Just in four different pieces. Current right now, an 8-0, an 8-0 average, seven. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Just ate a dozen donuts. And now we're running. Two thumbs up, we'll drink them in. So I'm not gonna say that I had a uh, an advantage, but for like the last two years, I have uh, 
been eating dinner and then I'll go run at night. Not for any reason like to do this, but to basically learn to eat on those long runs and have a full stomach, but definitely paying off right now. Well, 3.5 miles in, I think the uh, feeling from the group is it's miserable to eat them, but they're staying down. Conversation's still happening. It's setting in, don't get me wrong. I mean, I think the goal with this challenge is to eat them as fast and to get moving as quickly as possible while it's still moving into your gut. So, and uh, stuffing that amount of food in running after is uh, causing cramps right in here. Taking a breather, and I'm going to try to push through another mile and we'll be back. So, let's try to do this. Currently at this moment, 6.46 chasing this rabbit and this rabbit my stomach is handling it better trying not to think about it if you do this challenge I highly recommend eating them as fast as possible and then getting moving and stay moving think on something else don't think about the donuts So happy that the Panther Stadium is behind us. My God. One hour. Five, five point one miles, one hour. So we did it, boys. Yeah. Holy crap. Wow, wow, wow. Atta boy, Sam! Last mile, 7.34. Bro. We are Dude, cooking. There they are, the winners. Yeah! <laughs> right here. Sam's trying to puke. He can't puke. Oh, God. I'll go to if you want to try to throw up. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I'm going to keep you off the video. I think Sam may be attempting to puke. Hello, dude. You did it. Two of them back to uh, oh, well done one hour and three minutes 5.5 miles was it as hard as you thought it would be like level of hard one to ten yeah i think it was like uh it was probably an eight uh and i think it was a little harder than i thought it was well considering i ate six i'm gonna give it a six <laughs> okay <laughs> you know eating the eating the donuts is the worst part yeah. Worst part. Brown. I agree. Eating donuts was worse. That was about what I expected. I didn't expect anything worse or less, but I uh, I, I underestimated the difficult level of eating the, the donuts all at one time. It was far more disgusting than I thought it would be. Yeah. It was, uh, it was hard. Um, our pace at the beginning really helped out because if we'd have went out of the gate swinging, I definitely would have been a lot more uh, tired and fatigued, which I don't know if I'd have been able to keep my gut under control. Uh, eating the donuts was, the last stack was very hard. Like, 
I mentally just had to go someplace that I don't ever want to go again. Uh, so if you've done this, would love to know when you did it and what you thought about it, put it in the comments. But for these guys, I'm going to turn the camera off because I think we all just want to like just do nothing. So guys, thanks for doing it with me and uh, we'll see you next time. I hear the suffer cloud.